So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hardened Basilisk set, specifically the individual pieces. If you guys want to see the actual armor review, I'll have it up right now. If you guys don't know, I reviewed this armor already in, this, in the previous video, and we go through how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal opinion about the armor set, and some nooks and crannies about the armor set itself. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Again, go check that video out if you want to go see that. But for this one, we're going to be looking at the individual pieces. So, for example, the helmet, the cloak, the arms, the chest piece, the boots, all of that. I use all of it for this video. The Titan and Warlock, the only piece I don't use is the class item because I don't think the class item was unique enough to make a whole set around them. But for the Hunter, we use it all because a lot of it is really, really unique. So the way we're going to do this is from the helmet all the way down to the cloak. So the helmet, arms, chest piece boots and then the cloak that's how we're gonna do it so let me know which one is your favorite armor set for me i do have a favorite i think i have two favorites actually and i'll let you know which one it is but again i very much would appreciate you guys liking comment subscribing all that really does help and other than that let's get into it so to start off we're gonna be looking at the helmet i really like the helmet a lot when i first saw this helmet i immediately thought of this set that i made a while ago in a specific video if i can find it i'll have it up right now if i don't i do apologize but this set i've made before and i really really like it it's one of my more favorite sets that i've made it's not my favorite in this video but it is really cool so for the helmet obviously hardened mask uh hardened basilisk mask is the choice right now interlace grips because i want to have a little bit more technical uh side to this because the light can vest in combination with the Calam calamity rig cloak look really really good together and i think the interlace grips really encapsulates that like electrical look for me and the astrocytes ornament for the stompies was an easy choice just because that's the best electrical piece you can get especially for boots uh overall i really like this there is another uh boot that you can use which is the frosties the basic look of it my only gripe with it is i don't like like the only thing that's really technical about that is the fact that there's wires in there other than that it's not really that electrical to be for me personally i think the exercise just does a much better job for that uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think would would you guys do something different let me know in the comments below again i really like the interaction between the interlaced grips and and the light kin vest it just looks really cool and calamity red cloak also looks really good with light kin vest because of the hose it just kind of looks like it's all together so for the helmet, it's an easy dub. I really like this one. Let me know what you guys think. The next set, we're going to be utilizing the Hardened Basilisk Vembrace, which is the arms. I actually really like how this came out. So for the helmet, we're using Blight Ranger. This was an easy choice just because the look of Blight Ranger is super, super dope. Uh, for the arms, obviously, Hardened Basilisk is what we're using. For the chest piece, we're using the Warmind's Avatar specifically because I really like how it looks with the Eternal Vengeance Cloak. It just kind of looks like it was meant to look together and it looks super dope for the boots we're using bladesmith's memory strides now my thought process when i first looked at this these arms was of course like asymmetrical obviously that's what happens uh i ended up deciding just to lean into it for the boots which is why i'm using blades bladesmith's memory strides i think it looks super super cool and for the spikes eternal vengeance cloak was an easy choice just because you have the the spikes on the collarbones, but you also have spikes on the top of the hood. Uh, the other cool thing is Blight Ranger. Uh, this is more of a like, you know, you have to know the actual exotic look, but it, it does have a lot of spiky bits to it, which is why it was my first choice, because it does have a lot of spiky bits to it. Granted, you could use another exotic specifically like Wormhusk Crown, uh, but you would you would just have to change the gold or you would just have to change the shader to gold and that's where it gets problematic because bladesmith's memory strides the the feet you guys will see this like red like light red color and even on the thighs in the inner part of the thighs there's also red in there not the chrome red but that that like uh matte red that doesn't change color unfortunately so you are stuck with red or some variation of red and that's why I'm using carbon blood because I was like, fuck it. I'd, I'd rather not just fight the shader. So I'm going to use something that just is just going to look good with it. So this was not my favorite either. Like I really like it, but I would, they would have to change blight ranger to make it viable for me to even think about using this set. This is more of a fashion statement. And if they ever really make blight ranger good, then at this point I'd be like, okay, this is a contender for me to use just casually because I actually do really like it. It is a little edgy. I will say this. You are using black and red. 
and it is very edgy like quite literally but i also think it's super cool and some people just need to get over themselves so let me know what you guys think as for the chess piece i think this came out really really cool granted i think this might be the most boring set from the whole thing but i do think it looks really really cool because i end up kind of leaning into like an srl look so for the helmet reason graviton forfeit with the rigel crossroads ornament uh just because i really like it uh you could use graviton forfeit's default look and it'll look super cool but i wanted i wanted a more like a streamlined version of it just because again this is supposed to be like an srl inspired look which for the arms are using the lux sleeves this is funny because i ended up using the lux sleeves because the hardened basilisk vest has actual metal on the breast and for me i was like it looks really cool with the lux sleeves because it feels like it's almost part of that like the arms are part of the chest as well so that's why i'm using it for the boots i'm using the contender strides i think this is the best boots if you want to do srl there are other boots you can do and i have done an srl video you guys can check it out right here but i do think this is probably the better looking srl look if i'm being quite honest just because uh it looks a lot more racerish. i will say the the srl look from the video that i made is a better representation of like the armor we had back in the day because there wasn't a lot of armor in that a lot of it was cloth don't get me wrong a lot of it did have armor but it wasn't like bulky armor it wasn't armor that was like you attach it to it it was like almost made into the armor set itself so for me i think this is super cool obviously for the cloak we're using renegade hood this is like one of my favorite cloaks in the game uh granted i really wish they gave us back the cloak from destiny one where it was just it was just a scarf i wish we could get that back hopefully one day we'll get that back but for the meantime this is the best i got and i i still think this looks super dope uh but i will say this is probably the more boring set like some people will look at this and be like this is kind of boring and i can't even fault, fault them on that it, it is kind of boring but again at the same time i really appreciate the simplisticness of it i guess you would say but yeah let me know what you guys think as for the boots this is where my favorite comes into play because i think all these pieces went together perfectly for the helmet the mechanic 1.2 is probably not my first choice but it is a choice i went with and i don't regret it just because i like the fact that the mouth is covered by this like like cloth and the visor looks super cool granted again you could probably do a lot of stuff with this i would probably tell you to use the couturier helmet just because it takes the hood off and it does look really cool but for me the mechanic 1.2 i just wanted to keep this one for the arms we're using the mechanier's trick sleeves in combination with the gumshoe gumption vest and hardened basilisk leggards leg guards i think all of this goes together so well let me let me let me just throw this out the gumshoe gumption vest in combination with the hardened basilisk leg guards look really cool because if you guys see the front of the chest piece you see like this like a uh, the silhouette of the chest almost goes like a one-to-one -one with the with the bottom piece of the legs so like the the dip on the white you can see it it almost looks like it's part of the same thing especially when it when you when you see it like from the back as well it just looks like both of them were made for each other and that's why i'm so in love with this set because it does look super super cool uh i think mechaneer's trick sleeves with this also looks amazing i think it looks super super cool and in combination with stalwart tenant the new shader from vanguard i think it looks so fucking cool it's literally one of my favorite looks in the game right now and if mechaneer's trick sleeves if i if i thought they were i i wish they buffed it more or just change it all together i don't even i don't even say like oh yeah they could still work with sidearms just i would want to see some more changes to it like like i don't i don't want to have to ready my sidearm when i'm critically wounded it should already activate when i'm critically wounded i think that would be such a big change but i will rock this because i do think this this look is just so fucking cool so unique and i i can gush about this look for a long time because again it is one of my more favorite sets that i've made in the game so hunters let me know what you guys think last but not least we have the hardened basilisk cloak this one uh i kind of did on the fly and i'm kind of happy i did because the boots immediately reminded me of the the first set that i made with the boots but it also reminded me of 
the boots from Death Stranding. And this is actually my Death Stranding uh, inspired look. So for the helmet, we're using against the Jensen Knight cast with the Tyrant Abyss because I don't want the sides of the helmet to show up. So that's why I want a really dark black there. For the arms, we're using the Christine Cream Grips. For the chest piece, we're using the Scatterhorn vest actually. Because if you guys see, and if you guys have played Death Stranding, if not, I'll have a picture up of Sam right now. But it looks so close to fucking BB's uh, container. So I was like, easy dub. This is super easy. For the boots, the hardened basilisk leg arts, dude, looks so amazing. Mostly because it just looks like you're wearing pants and shoes. Like these, this is probably one of the better pieces that showcase that. With the Lux armor set probably being the, the one that's actually the better one because it, you can see the difference of like the boots and then pants start but this one's super dope as well so again uh this one's using the stalwart tenant just because it is really close to like the the shader or i shouldn't say shader the color scheme that sam uses a lot uh, and for me i just thought like this looks so cool and it's not a one-to-one -one. you'll we will, we will almost never see a one-to-one -one inspired look in destiny 2 aside from maybe some weird uh like outliers but for me this is so close that i just can't i don't really care if it's not a one-to-one -one. it just looks so cool and the reason why this all started was because the cloak specifically the hood reminded me of this picture from from uh death death stranding specifically the one where sam is like has his hood up i'll obviously show the picture right now but yeah, it's like one of my favorite pictures from Death Stranding. I thought it was super cool. And when I saw the hood, I was like, holy fuck, I can do a Death Stranding look now and actually like it. And I really, really like this. The only unfortunate part is I think the Jensen Knight cask, the only reason I'm using it is because it's the closest thing I have to the oxygen helmet thing that Sam uses. And I don't really mind, but it is unfortunate because I would probably just have my bare face if we had the option. I would just have my bare face in there, like instead of the helmet, that would be super cool. But yeah, hunters, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy these armor sets? Let me know in the comments below. I enjoyed making them. These are like literally my favorite sets from the whole thing. Not saying the Titans and Warlocks are bad. Actually, I have a few favorites from them as well, but I don't think any of these are bad. I think all of them are bangers and you can definitely utilize them in your fashion. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Again, I appreciate you guys get, getting up to this point. I really do appreciate y'all especially the ones that actually get to this point because my analytics tell me that people don't come up to this point. So if you are, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I have a bunch of content. Uh, I'm going to be real quick about it. I have the Hunter set that's going up today. Whenever this comes up, uh, we have the Hunter and Warlock coming out soon. We have the Death Stranding inspired sets, which I only have two, but it, you, this is one of them. The one that I just showed you. And then we have the playlist shaders, which I will be doing a video on because you guys will see that I actually end up using the Titan. I end up using the new Gambit shader and it looks really cool. The Warlock, I don't use the new shader just because the new shader for Crucible is trash. And I will talk about it in the shader video. But I also have some solo flawless stuff that I've done, some non-fashion stuff that I want to post, even though I clearly see that in my analytics that people don't really watch them but i would appreciate it if you did but uh yeah uh gotta get back to work and be safe and i'll see you guys later